What's up guys, it's Lexi. In this video, I'm gonna show you two and a half makeup looks. One is icy and iridescent, and the other one is like bumblebee yellow. The third one is these sunset eyes, which is what I have on right now. I've been playing around with my look and my makeup and my hair so much recently on Instagram and posting photos there. So if you wanna follow me, my Instagram is at Lexi. I would love to have you there checking out my photos because it's been so fun recently. And if you're curious on how to get this look, just keep on watching. This is look one, you guys are gonna love it. It's icy blue and a light baby pink and some glitter like this. Oof, I can't wait to show you. I'm starting off with my primer. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from First Day Beauty. I like it because in the winter time if I'm using it, I'll probably put a face lotion on underneath it, but it's summertime, I don't need that much moisture, so this works as a face lotion and a primer. However, I have really big pores, so I'm gonna use a second primer as well. This is the Porefessional by Benefit, tried and true. I'm sure that you've tried this at some point in your life. And I put it on the sides of my nose, which is like really just the beginning of my cheeks, and then on my nose and my chin and my forehead because my T-zone's kind of oily and that's where I have big pores, and this covers them right up. It's really nice. And then I'm taking this Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. And this is from Too Faced and it's an oil-free foundation, but it kind of feels light like a moisturizer. I mean, it's buildable, but I like fairly light medium coverage. And I just take a beauty blender or the off-brand. I think this is the, I don't know what the off-brand is called, but I'm using that and they, they're pretty comparable. I do like the beauty blender, but this works great as well. And then once that's setting in, I take my Yves Saint Laurent, um, what is it called? I don't know how to pronounce this. Touche Eclat, Radiant Touch. And this is a brightening concealer for under the eyes. I don't put it all the way on my dark circles because I like to keep just the natural dimension that my face gives me. So I just brighten right underneath it and then bring it up a little bit on my nose, just the extra to keep everything blended. Then I brush my eyebrows, comb them. My eyebrows are definitely not my strong suit whatsoever. My eyebrows are fairly different in shape, so I do my best to make them as symmetrical as possible. For my contour, I'm using Hoola by Benefit. It's one of my all-time favorite bronzers. I think it's, it's showing up a bit orange on camera, but I think one of my favorite parts about this bronzer is that it's not orange. It's definitely a more true brown color. And I also love the brush that I'm applying it with. I just dropped it. I'm holding it in my hand. It's a Tarte brush, but I've seen a very similar one by Eco Tools, and I got this brush a while ago, so I don't know if it's still on the market, but just find something this shape, like a fluffy paintbrush. Like it's a giant fluffy paintbrush is what I would say it looks like. And then I'm contouring my cheeks and my neck and my jawline. I'm still very, very, very new to contouring, so I wouldn't take my advice too seriously or my technique too seriously. I'm trying to contour my nose by doing a little side and side by the nostril and then down the bridge or like on either side of the bridge and then that little um, that crossover. You'll see me do it in a second. Yep, right there. I'm trying to give myself some shape, just kind of experimenting and I figured I would include it in the video. Then I'm using a powder from Tarte to set my under eyes and everywhere else that I applied foundation that wasn't covered by the bronzer. Then we're about to do the eyeshadow using my NYX Love You So Mochi palette. And I'm taking the light blue and I'm just tapping that on the first half of my eye and the inner corner. The colors are not that pigmented, so if you have better eyeshadows, this is gonna look even more beautiful. However, I think it's important to use what you have and this still looks really good in my opinion. Then we're gonna take the icy pink color that is right next to the first color that we used and apply it on the second half of the eyelid and that is that simple. Like the eyeshadow part is that easy. But I think it's so effective because if you're not someone who wears eyeshadow that much, it makes a huge difference. Then I'm taking Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner from Urban Decay. It's a little bit hard to apply evenly because there's pieces of glitter in it and you want to make sure you're getting an entire line of glitter. But it makes a nice difference, especially in person, because your eyes just sparkle that much more. Then I curl my lashes and I apply mascara. This is my favorite mascara of all time. They're Real by Benefit. I truly think that it just transforms the look. I think because it's so black and dramatic that this against the eyeshadow, they they complement each other well. And I also just think a good mascara just changes your whole face. Like look, look at this look guys. 
Now I'm using my finger to just fix up the little mistakes that I made because I still get mascara around my eyes. But guys, this makeup look is so simple. If I can do it, you can do it. Now we're going to take another Urban Decay, like a white eyeliner. It's kind of sparkly and put that on the inner corner just over top. But like I said, if you have really pigmented eyeshadow, that's not as necessary. Then for the lips, my favorite lip balm at the moment is Flower Balm by Winky Lux. And it just gives the perfect tint, but it's also moisturizing like a chapstick. So it gives you a little bit of color, but the attention is still very, very, very much on the eyes. And that is the first look. The icy, holographic eyeshadow. I love it. Now to start eyeshadow look number two. This is yellow. I've been wanting to do something with yellow for a while. And I only own two yellow eyeshadows. One's from a Winky Lux palette, and the other is from the same NYX palette that I was using in the last tutorial and I already have a base of face makeup and a little bit of mascara on so we could just skip that part and get right into the eyeshadow. I'm taking the yellow and I'm applying it all on the lid in the inner corner on the lash line even a little bit above the crease so you just have a really strong wash of color and it's powerful and it draws attention and I don't think you need anything else other than that when it comes to this eyeshadow look. I mean granted this is eyeshadow for beginners but this is just what I like to wear. You could go more. I'm taking this second yellow eyeshadow that's a little bit lighter and putting that on the, the, I don't know, I guess just adding a little bit more so it's more intense. But I think it's a power move to just take one color and roll with it. And then to make it a little bit more dramatic, I'm taking a liquid eyeliner and making a wing out of it. I think this is nice because it, I don't know, definitely Bumblebee vibes for sure. And if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm taking the end of the liner and just coating the back of my eyelashes because there is for sure some powder on them, which kind of makes your eyelashes look less dramatic if you can see powder on it. And then I'm doing the wing on the other side. This is the Lancome eyeliner, but L'Oreal makes a really comparable one too if you're looking for a drugstore dupe. And then I'm going to take the eyeliner and just do a little bit on the lower lash line, anywhere I feel like my my lower lashes are sparse. And that is the eye part. Now for the lips, we're gonna do two lip glosses. These are both by Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore's line. Starting with Soleil, a lighter color on the majority of your lips, and then going in with a more red color. And this is called Molten. And I'm putting it just on the outer parts of my lips because it's really, really pigmented, and I don't think I need that much because the yellow eyeshadow is already where I want your eyes going. I want you to look at my eyes with your eyes. And that is the look, guys, so simple for beginners. I want you to try it. You can so do it. Look three is an extension of look two. We're taking the same palette that we got the yellow and using this red color that shows off a little bit more orange when you actually apply it to your eye. And I'm applying it to my crease. And the goal of this is I'm making a half circle, or like if I make a half circle around my eye and like follow the crease of my eye, it's gonna look like there's a sunset on my eyelid. And it's so easy, guys. Like it looks so complicated or it just looks like you put in so much time, but it's just two eyeshadows, truly. For a little added cohesion, I'm gonna bring it down to my lower lash line just because I have the yellow on my lower lash line and use a fluffier brush with a little bit more of that red-orange color to make it a little more intense, but also blend it. And it's that simple, guys. These three looks are so doable. I would love to see you make them. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like the looks. If you want to let me know which one was your favorite, I would love to hear. And if you recreate it, definitely tag me in the picture or if you post on your Instagram story so I can see it. Now, I want your opinion before you go. There's two videos I want to upload next and I can't decide which one. I've been vlogging a little bit recently. So if you want to see my life outside of these walls or if you want to see inside these walls. I also want to film an apartment tour. So let me know. Your feedback is always appreciated. And if you like makeup tutorials, give this video a thumbs up so I know that I should make more of these. In the meantime, my Instagram's at Lexi and I will see you next time in another video. Okay, bye. Love you guys. Thanks again for watching.